Yo, what it is, it is Efren the Marketer here with another YouTube video. Today I'm gonna show you how to find off-market properties. This is one campaign that we're currently doing for Offer Home, and it might work for you. So we're currently running some EDDM campaigns. We're trying something new versus just direct mail. So we're sending a Spanish uh, mailer to their house as well, English on the other side. But we're really targeting a specific zip code. This one we're targeting 85041, and um, we're sending out 4,355 pieces to just this zip code. It's around this place called Hayden Park. And so we did a little bit of research and it looks like this might work really well in that area. So we're gonna launch these in the hopes of getting a call. The phone number on the EDM campaign, what happens is it's being tracked by call rail. So once somebody calls that number on the actual mailer, the person that will answer it, it will say mailer campaign and it'll say like the zip code and then they'll be like, if you're ready to answer, press one, right? So that is an EDM campaign that we're currently doing. Direct mail and EDM is completely different. I don't know if you guys know the difference between them two. But pretty much direct mail is you download a list, you upload it, and then you send it, and then you can send them whatever you're gonna send. Versus EDM, you kind of go off by zip codes and routes. Uh, campaign price per mailer, I mean, one of these mailers will cost you about 10 to 15 cents to make, and it's obviously you know much larger than your average direct mail option. <sighs> Something like this with prints and delivery and design, I mean, you're looking at like 35 cents right versus 45 cents or 50 cents per mailer so it just kind of depends you know how many mailers you do at a time and how many you do and that kind of depends on the price if you're looking for pricing for direct mail click on the link below golevelprint.com we print them ourselves we do everything ourselves here this is for one of our close friends slash client and to be honest if you don't have the money to physically pay a marketing company to do it for you um, you can easily do it yourself so you just get a large amount of prints so like here we have them stacks of 100 ready to go right all you have to do is literally a regular black and white printer print out the forms from USPS I'll put the link down below down there as well the link where you can actually map and see where you want to target and then it goes to the next step where you print the forms and the forms look like this actually I'm gonna run through the forms real quick so you get the form with all the information that you're gonna drop off. Then you get a post office location and drop off information sheet where it tells you the zip code, it tells you the route, and then it tells you the mail pieces per route, which is this. So once you find the route that you would want to do, like here I have routes, like here I have route um, C005, right? And then there is nine sheets of paper and literally <laughs> i kind of messed that up right here so then what you do is you put you got to put one of these papers per 100 and that's why these are split into 100 so that is the difference between edm campaign and direct mail so direct mail you don't really have to do a bundles of 100 uh versus these the reasons why you have to do in bundles of 100 is because each route a mail person gets handed one of these with the pieces of with a piece of paper and pretty much as they're delivering mail they have to go to each individual house to drop off one of these right and again if you do it yourself and you just get it printed through us or anywhere else you'll be paying 19 cents per delivery versus a physical direct mail campaign you'll be paying 30 cents 35 cents per piece versus 19 cents so you're almost i mean it's almost costing you twice as much right one of these little pieces of paper actual uh flyer can cost you anywhere depending on how many you print can cost you two three four cents five cents Again, depending if you print 5,000, 100, 200, just depends on the pricing, right? But like this campaign right here itself, easily five cents per mailer. And plus the 19 cents, plus our fee, I mean, it'll still be cheaper than direct mail. It just depends if it's as effective. Again, it doesn't matter how much cheaper it is. What matters is how effective it is versus direct mail. So we're launching this campaign, putting it together today, Friday, dropping it off on Monday, paying for it on Monday, will be delivered on Tuesday and Wednesday. If you're doing direct mail, do it where it gets dropped off Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. I'll tell you the reason why you don't wanna shoot it out during the weekend. Because on the weekends, you get a lot of junk mail. 
a lot of people also don't check their mail. Saturday and Sunday, people don't check their mail or Sunday, the mailman doesn't work, right? So when it comes down to Monday, physical Monday, somebody goes to check their mailbox, what do you think is gonna happen? There's gonna be a ton of mail, not just from you, but from your local pizza shop, your Safeway, your um, Walgreens, your uh, Walmart, and their bills. So they're gonna, instead of getting a stack with really minimal mail, now they're getting a stack of 15, 20, 30 pieces additional than usual, right? So. Uh, again, you do have to get them stacks of 100. You can use rubber bands or you can use this little pieces of plastic that we do. We do offer the option for us to bundle it for you. And uh, it's so easy. If you don't have the budget to pay somebody, just get it printed. Uh, get it printed and add the, the piece of paper yourself. You do the drop off and you do everything pretty much. This is how you gotta deliver it, simple. Throw it in there, throw it in a box, and then move on to the next one. I'm currently outside of the post office. I'm literally just gonna put it on a dolly and then drop it off back there. Super, super simple process, but if you don't wanna deal with this headache, we actually have people that do it themselves and they go and put it in bundles and they put the paper on and then they drop it off at the post office. Um, Goldlevelprint.com, click down below, hit them up, tell them that you want somebody to to do the campaigns for you and they can definitely do that for you. So let's go and drop this off. All right, simple as that, just dropped off the 5,000 pieces. Now the goal is to hopefully we get a couple of calls and one closed deal, which if we do, it'll be an average of like $20,000, $30,000 contract. And with that being said, then that makes it super, super affordable. But the goal here is to get leads, and as we get leads, we work them and get one deal out of it. So I'll keep you guys updated.